Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Thursday the 27th of August, we have new mods and we have, we have quite a few new mods and we have quite a few updates. The updates are as follows. From top left we have an update to La Coronea 2.0 by Shabba FS and Toy Mateo. The versatile transport trailer by Zanarko 82 squared modding. Uh, the case IH 1030 uh, 14 foot, 18 foot, 20 foot um, header trailers by Matt 26. The Vedostat front tiller by Matt 26 and Shardy. The MZ, uh, MZHT 16 and MZHT 10 by FSSA modding team. Uh, seasons Geos, Alabama, Georgia, Texas and Kansas all by ADUB modding have all had updates today. Right in front of us we've got the John Deere 600F series. This is by Steam Camp Modding uh, and Appalache Modding. Uh, there are five? Five in this pack I think. Each of them are five slots each on console for the first one. Really nicely detailed. Uh, these are designed to go with uh, the, is it small to medium. I'm trying to think what it said on the mod hub on, on the website mod hub. These grain heads are intended to be used with smaller or older John Deere combines like uh, seeds 9400, 9, 9600. Um, they feature crop dividers to move easily in soybean crop. Although that does look a bit dicey to me. That's wibbling around quite a bit. Um, anyway, that said. They are under tools, under headers, and we have a range of them from a 6 metre, I think that's the first one, yes, yeah, 6 metre, 620F, the 622F is 6.6 .6 metres, 625, 7.6 metres, 630, 9.1 metres, and the 635 at 10.6 metres. Uh, these are your standard um, cereal crop headers, they're not corn helianthus or anything like that um it does say at the bottom of each one the harvesters that it's, it's kind of intended for the small ones 9400 9410 9500 then up from there all the way up to the sts harvesters for the uh, 635 the 645 ft is a separate mod don't worry about that that's something different um so yeah that that's um that's say five slots each for each of those very nice indeed. That's by Steam Camp Modding and Appalache Modding. Moving on. We've got this. <sighs> it's one of those ones I saw it and thought, oh, that's pretty cool. Easier said than done. This is the Lizard Quad by White Bull Modding. Now, if any of you have used the round bale collectors like these that have the prongs, you'll be fully aware that you either get ones that are fixed or ones often where the prongs can open and close because getting the prongs either side of a round bale down there on the ground can be problematic especially with the, the game physics sometimes it can be a little bit wonky and it doesn't always work particularly well um, so the problem I've got I do like it I like the idea um, the animations great and, and the concepts brilliant but when it comes down to rest in this position which is the position you need it to be in to get the first bales on, you've got a double pipe there. Getting that double pipe to go under one bale, let alone two bales, even if you want at a time, is a tricky prospect. I'm not saying it's impossible, I'm saying it's really fiddly. Um, if you do manage to get two bales on, then what you do is you lift the first layer up, then you put another two bales on the bottom. And what is nice about this though, it does have straps, so you can strap them. Um, which will hold them in place, but I found putting the first bale on, as soon as I then moved the, the collector to get to the next one, the bale just didn't want to stay on there. It was all over the place. Um, so like I say, great idea in theory. I, I just, like I say, with a bit of practice, um, you could probably absolutely nail it every time, but I'm just of the opinion if it gets that fiddly are people going to use them now with l1 and circle i can raise and lower it like so and like that or with l1 and right stick i can adjust manually so i can do tilt up and down backwards and forwards have everyone look at it up and down and backwards and forwards so if i bring it all the way down to that position then tilt it away from me like so now it's on the ground you can already see the first set of prongs there are quite high 
So I've got that one on. Great. Now what I'll do is strap it. Lift that up. No. That way. And then my job then is to get the next one on. <laughs> he says, please wait. If this works, I'll be so pleased because it didn't work. When I, I just tried to practice it and thought, oh, this is going to be a nightmare to show this. But like I say, with the various different bale collecting options available, how fiddly are you going to want it to be? Are you going to spend this amount of time, please? Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Ah. Oh. Come on. So it just doesn't want to go and it's moving all over the place. Bale physics aren't always great. Right, stay there, stay there. Strap. Right. Lift that up. Now what I can do, if I open my help menu, if I go um, R1 and right stick, there you go, doesn't work. Let's undo the straps and do it, maybe. But the problem with that is, let's strap it again. No, it straps over everything. That's a bit... I mean, I don't know. Like I say, it will go up now. But if I strap it, it straps all of it. You think it'd be better to have separate straps in each layer, maybe? But anyway, the theory then being that when you do the next one, you put the next two bales on, and you can take four at a time. That's the theory. I am going to need a weight on the front though, because that is quite heavy. Um, I'm not going to try and pick up the other two, but th the theory is fairly sound. Um, like I say, it's just a little bit fiddly. I, I like the idea. It looks really cool. Um, I just know how bales can be, and I would imagine. I don't know, I suppose with a very with a, a small amount of practice I didn't do that too bad. Um, too bad, too badly. Anyway, this you will find um, under... Oh, where was this? Was it Bailing Technology? Oh, there were so many mods today, I've got to remember. I th think it was under Bailing Technology. There you go. The Lizard Quad, 1,200 to buy, uh, and like four slots that is. It does have a tension belt, so there are no options for colour. You get it in orange. And um, that's that. Have fun. <laughs> Enjoy. Uh, moving on. Hmm. Right, well, what we've got in front of us here is the Bressel and Laid H30 Box Turner. This is by It's Justin. Again, another one of those mods. Great in theory. Nice animation. Looks cool. I like the idea fairly limited in its usage I think um, so we have the box turner and we have the box itself we'll have a look at those first the box turner is a front loader attached piece of kit so if we scroll along it's just in here somewhere there we go h30 box turner 1500 to buy you can put a front loader machine or a machine with a front loader if that makes sense um, and this will use where is it on my list? Four slots for the Turner. This we can change the colour of from black or grey to black to green to orange, like so. The box itself you'll find under, I want to say objects and palettes. I think it was palettes. There we go. The box is just there and it says on the jigsaw puzzle piece compatible with the H30. That's got a 1,350 litre capacity. That's one of my first reasons for saying it's fairly limited. Um, so what we'll do is hook it up. Like so. Uh, now there's a couple of options we can do with this. And the first thing you want to do is unfold it. So you unfold that and it puts that bar out. And as we drive forward it gives us the option to pick up that box. You don't have to put the forks under it. Press X and it attaches the box. Now what I can do, uh, I'm going to get this the right way around. L1 and R1, and my right stick, I can move that arm in and out a bit, like so. You can kind of get it to where it should look. Okay, but this will hold on anyway. Lift the box up, go off and do whatever you want. All very nice. When you get to wherever you get going to and you want to tip this, um, R1 and right stick to the side tips the whole thing, like so. Which, like I say, it's, it's really cool. It's a, I like the animation. I think it's a clever idea. Um... Actually, one thing I should have checked was, does it say what this box takes? It just says various goods can be transported with the box and emptied with the box turner. Um, now, that's all well and good. 
So I suppose the thing to ask yourself then, or I asked anyway, the first thing I thought was, will this work with other things? The first thing I need to do, I think it's I have to lower the box. If I lower the box, then I can detach it like so. But it's another one of those ones, it doesn't really want to get, get off the forks. It's a bit of a... I don't know. I'd Again, anything that's overly fiddly, I, I find... You know, you want things to make your life easier. I suppose if you want to go down the route of being, you know, hyper-realistic. So I thought, well, what we'll try then is... Let's move that arm right out. Will it pick up a normal pallet? And will it work on a normal pallet? Because we have had some things in the past that will only work with the, the thing they come with. So let's hopefully get the forks into that. Not as good as I was hoping. Anyway, right, there we go. So, the pallet forks do work. I can move the arm in like so and it does knock the box so I've got to be kind of careful where I put it but here's the problem if I bring that up now and then do R1 and my right stick the turner turns the pallet doesn't it doesn't like it with other pallets so realistically this is only going to work with the box it comes with um, again I suppose a bit like the forks over there it's a great idea in theory um, and I'm sure people will find uses for it. I I'm sure they will. Um, I don't know. Yeah, but there you go. That's the um, Bristol and Laid H30 box turner by It's Justin. Um, moving on from here. Let's come right down the front. Um, we have got in front of us the Brick and Metal Fences Pack by Camelos0397. Nicely detailed. Again, I'm, there's a bit of a drawback with this one, but um, there are several different sections you get in this. There's a there's a pro and a con. I'll, I'll say that now. There are three slots each, which is pretty cool. Detailing's great, nice and thick. If you've seen me talk about any of the fences and stuff, replaceables, that is kind of crucial, especially if you're on console. And then we've got a fence section here, like so. There's no sound on the gates, no squeak or anything like that, but my only downside is this this section can only be used as that section if you wanted to do a whole brick and metal fence around your enclosure you can't because what comes in this pack are four i think four different versions or variations on this section in various different sizes the front one here i think is a 22 meter and the back one there is a i want to say 32 but i think i need to check that so it's great and it looks really nice i just thought if it came with brick sections that like that because it's quite chunky you could then make up walls all around but on the plus side i do like the fact that that does all come as one solid section so if you do just want to use that it's not then fiddly to build and place and put together so yeah pros and cons uh this you'll find under placeables and decoration yeah, so we've got the 22 metre fence with gate, 25 metre fence with gate, 28 metre fence with gate, 31 metre fence with gate, oh 34 not 32, 34 metre fence with gate and then we've got a 6 metre gate. So there's no wall sections, it's just those. And like I say, there are three slots each, that one, the 22 I bought, that's why that's saying one slot and I bought a 34 as well. But there are three slots each um, for the first of each of them. Um, yeah, I mean, I've always said I don't like... I'm not dissing modders, I'm not having a pop or anything like that. I'm just presenting with the mod, what's what's here, and I kind of look at the pros and cons of the mod itself. Um, I like the idea, I like the fact it comes in a big section, but if you do want to do, you know, if you were going to put this round a building, you're going to end up with 15 gates. You know, if you put a whole load of these sections round, you're going to have loads of gates. But, there we go. Um, that's the Brick and Metal Fences Pack by Camelos0397. Moving through... We've got this. This is the large sliding gate. This is by Nerox. Um, now, this looks a bit odd in that if I click on it to open the gate, I'm just kind of moving the gate from one side to the other. Whichever way I do it, I've still got an opening. The premise behind this being that when you put it in, you put fencing um, across this the, the open section. So the point being that when it opens one of these will still remain closed does that make sense <laughs> so if i put fencing across this bit here and then went off around my enclosure when i came to actually open or close it whichever you want to look at it i would then have my opening here or the other way around i could put the fencing across that bit 
and then when I open it, my opening will be here. Nice animation, nice sound, very smooth, easy to place, doesn't take up a huge amount of room. Um, this you'll find somewhere in here. Oh, where was this one? I think this one was in miscellaneous. There we go, large sliding gate, 1,700 to buy. That will use two slots, and that's by Nerovsk. Uh, moving on. Yeah, we'll do these, then come back to those. We'll have to, because I didn't bring another tractor out. Right, so this in front of me um, is the Randon Bulk Carrier R line. This is by Eric Isaac Agro Mods. Um, this is a 65,000 litre trailer. It takes pretty much everything. Um, I, I like this. Really nicely detailed. Very, very nicely detailed. Um, as a pro on this, what I do like is for a 65,000 litre, it's not a tip. Um, but weirdly, it hasn't got a ram either. It does unload kind of directly out of the back or side to side. And I'll show you those animations in a moment. Um, and it's fairly low profile, which means getting in under small doorways is pretty handy. Plus, when you then come to tip, the whole thing's not lifting up. Um, that's nice. There's not an animation inside, though, for, for it. There's not like a, a belt or a, a push or anything like that. Um, but, you know, it is nice to detailed. Uh, there's no trailer hitch on the back, so you can't daisy chain these together, which for some people may be a negative. I, I mean, I like it as a trailer. I, I, I like that idea of it to be able to go under narrow, or not narrow, but low openings. Uh, some of the trailers, or a lot of the trailers we have, are fairly high, and that can often be difficult, um, especially when you're moving bulk items. Uh, this you will find under, not under vehicles, under tools, under trailers. There you go, the random bulk carrier R line. Uh, 65,000 litre capacity for 85 grand. It does put it a little bit pricier than the, the BSM semi tipper, semi tipper, semi. Um, six, nine grand for 70,000 litres. So, again, it, you know, it comes down to what you prefer. Options available. We can change the main colour to anything on that palette, and that changes the actual the main colour. The cover you can't change, you can't change the design or the colour of that. Uh, rim colour, we can go with chrome, silver metallic. I have to say, normally I'm a bit of a chrome, I kind of chrome most things when I get them. I do like the silver metallic on that. That does look nice. Um, there is a black chrome as well. Nice shiny black in there and then the rest of the colour palette for changing your rims. And then we've got short mudguard or long. And that's the mudguard at the back underneath. You've got the ones that just cover the wheels that say random or one that goes right across the entire back, which is also a little bit longer, a long mud guard. Those are your options. So, let's just grab that. Look it up, so cover off, L1 and left on the D-pad. There's you trailer with the cover off. Uh, unloading, I think I put it left first. Like I said, it does that, but there's no tip. It just unloads like that. Um, if I just open the help window, change that to tip side right, like so. And then we change it to tip side back. And like I say, there's, there's no animation for the movement of products. So I suppose if you're looking down that realism route, you would be asking yourself, well, how is that stuff coming out of there if gravity is not assisting, whatever. Um, but, I mean, it is what it is. That's, that's, that's the trailer. Um, I don't think there's any other options. Lights, indicators. And that's it. That's the uh, Random Bulk Carrier R line by Eric Isaac Agro Mods. Um, moving on, I'm going to do the tractors next because I need the tractors for some of the other mods we're going to look at. So, more Steigers, more case machinery. That, that looks incredible. Um, so, what we have got is the Case Steiger 9300. This is by Case Arias Modding and R.D. Allen. Um, I'm going to say it again, I really like these. Um, not massive horsepower, but not massively expensive either. This puts it in the medium tractor category. Um, 
and I like that. Um, they're really nicely made, nice models. Um, there's a few options available. There's a, an anomaly, which I'm going to point out. I know people will argue the point. That one says row crop special. Um, and when you look at it, I mean, that is <laughs> that is super narrow. And I know for row crops, that's the point. Um, but that one is exactly the same if you don't have the doubles on it. Um, you can have the oversized thing on there as well. Like I say, it's really nicely detailed. Nice model, this. Um, so we'll have a look in store at what's available. Um, these you'll find under vehicles, under medium tractors. So uh, this will use, where is it? 27 slots which isn't too bad on the scale of things and some of the tractors we've had um, and do get that's it in its base model 93 grand now it says 240 horsepower there we are going to go through that in just a second um, we can have option on lizards or michelins those are the two options on tires with lizards you can have narrow single or you can have narrow jewels nice wide with the row crop on there i like that uh, then we're back to narrow singles. If we go for Michelin, we can have narrow single, narrow jewel, wide single, wide jewels, which I think was the one I went for. Um, and then we're back to our narrow single again. That's a nice look as well. And not too expensive for the extra, you know, wide jewels ex adds an extra two grand. Wide singles, nothing. Um, Again, narrow jewels. As soon as you put the jewels on, it's two grand, but that's not a huge amount of money. Um, we can have weights on the front. We have none. We can have the bracket. We can have the weights, and we can have oversize, and we can have oversize with the weights. There's no front three-point link on it. On the back, we've got attachers. You can have standard trailer attacher. Actually, I'll take the weights off. That rear weight stays. Uh, no three-point link or three-point link. Adding a three-point link on that adds a grand. That's all. So you can have standard trailer hitch on there for sort of slightly larger machinery or a three-point. And then we've got the engine size. So we've got the 9310, which is 205 horsepower. This is where we get the anomaly. Um, we've got the 9330 which is 240 horsepower. That takes the price up by 14 grand to 110,000. Which, to be honest with you, for a 240 horsepower tractor, that's not too bad at all. If we go for the Case 9330 Row Crop Special, which changes some stickers, that's all. Horsepower stays the same. Interior stays the same. In the real world, that may make other differences, but in the game, we've gone from 240 horsepower 14 grand extra, 110,000. To the row crop special, 240 horsepower, but only adds 1,500 on. So you can get a 240 horsepower version for 97,500. Which does beg the question, why would you go for the standard 9330, which will cost you 110, when you can get it for 975? just like an anomaly I, I you know it may be you don't like that particular look you might not want to have the row crop special sticker on there in which case you want the kind of more standard case steiger look um but that's going to cost you a bit of extra money if you want to go down that route now what does it sound like well it sounds great got quite a high tick over speed it is a nice looking tractor Nice and agile, not too sluggish on the turns. I quite like that. Horn. Lights. Quite a few light options, actually. And off again. Uh, we do have a door that opens. Let me just open, open that menu. Uh, we want to go without L1 and R1 and right stick side to side. Opens and closes the door, like so. Fan movement inside there on the animation. You can just see through in there. Yeah, 240 horsepower for 97 grand. That's pretty good. In cab. Nice and tidy. Light options as we go through. I don't think anything else lights up in the cab. I mean, it's fairly basic, but it's like I say, it's tidy.
and then the other one next to it I went for the row crop uh, well I went for the narrow option on those that is seriously narrow though isn't it look at that very nice bits of kit very nice indeed so that's the case Steiger 9300 by case Arias modding and RD Allen um, right moving on from there actually we'll grab we'll grab the row crop one so next up this didn't appear on the website mod hub but was in the actual game mod hub as being new this is the lizard cult 3 um, this is by <laughs> this is by boycheck 17 bolex simulation <laughs> something i have noticed on this mod I might just imagine this. I don't recall noticing it before, and I thought it would be something I would have noticed. The tyres sinking into the mud a little bit. Not that's wrong or bad. I'd like that. But that's quite cool. I don't recall noticing that before. Am I just going mad? Anyway, that being said, the Cult 3. This is... Well, hang on a second. Let's just go. So that's horrendous, isn't it? This is, you've guessed it, a three metre cultivator. These are great days we're living. <clears throat> it is a three metre cultivator day. I know you will be happy about these things. Um, four slots, three metre cultivator. There are a few options available on this uh, for the back section here. Um, this you will find under tools, you'll find under cultivators. 9,200 to buy, runs at 9 miles an hour, requires 100 horsepower to pull it, options available on the back we can have roller 10 pipes, we can have roller metal rings, we can have roller packer, we can have roller rubber and we can have roller cross kill. Um, those are your options available, when you drop it down it cultivates at 3 metres is what you'd kind of expect and hope for in 3 meters Cultivator. There you go. Um, so that's the uh, Lizard Cult 3 by Boycheck17 Bolex Simulation. Moving on, we have got the Vir Virtuos... Virtuos? Virtuos 15,000. This is by Farm Centro Sul. This. <laughs> it's one of those days, isn't it? It's one of those days of drawbacks, potentially. This is incredibly detailed. It looks very crisp, very clean, nice detail. In talking to Foo Farmer a little while ago, he said often the slot count can be high because of textures used. Depending on what textures used, depending on whether it's enlarged or shrunk or used as is or that can really push the slot count up and that's the only drawback to this the slot counts fairly high um this is 36 slots but this will do fertilizer lime or manure so it will do all three which makes it very versatile it's um spreads out to 24 meters i think it said in the mod tab but it's really nice. It, like I say, it looks great. It's just everything we seem to get recently. It's like, this is really, really cool. But <laughs> there seems to be a but all the time. Um, this you will find under fertilizer technology, under tools. So there you go. The Virtuos 15,000. 13,554 to buy. 36 slots for the first one. Then that does drop down to two. 125 horsepower required. 15,000 litre capacity. Runs at 12 miles an hour. 24 metre spread and like I say it will do lime, fertiliser and manure. I checked it under the buy anything silo and it did give me the option to put any one of those three in. So what we'll do, I think I put fertiliser in it. Let's turn it on. And away we go. It does exactly what it says on the tin. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I, it's another one I like it. it you know slot counts can be a pain 
it depends how high up you are on your slot count, depends what map you're on, all that kind of thing. I think it's a really nice mod. I like the option to do all three fertilising types in that. Or not all three, but three fertilising types in that. Solid fertiliser. Let's put it that way. Um, so there we go. That's the Virtuos 15,000 by Farm Centro Sol. Nice mod. Uh, moving on, I think we're on the last few actually. I think they're all buildings left now. Um, we have got the grain storage and garage. These are separate mods today but they're both by Nismo. Um, nice textures, fair size. Um, I did put the lights on on this one simply because I went backwards and forwards trying to get the trigger to work. There we go. Oh, it worked first time. Brilliant stuff. So that's with the lights off. There we go, lights on. Nice space, plenty of room. Grain storage, but you don't have to put grain in it. You can whatever you like in it. It's entirely up to you. Um, and then next to that, we've got the um, garage by Nismo. This one doesn't have lights at all, doesn't have a light switch. It has, has um, five bays for putting in your vehicles. Now, it does say this is suitable for medium harvesters and there's a picture on the on the actual mod hub of um i think it's a john deere harvester coming out of the doors of one of them so yeah i mean doors are a fair size it will do what you need it to um each of these open it's not just one obviously nicely detailed nicely textured um this both of these you'll find under sheds so the lizard garage is 60,500. I think they both use... how many slots was this? Oh no, the garage is eight slots, the st grain storage is six slots. So 60,500 for the garage, 68,000 for the grain storage, um, and as per usual with most placeables you need a nice flat area to put them down on, otherwise you may incur landscaping fees on top of placing them. Um, so moving on from there we've got these these this is the shed pack by missy b um two options available in this pack we've got a standard shed um which costs 10 grand and then we've got this one which is the shape the same shed but this is a bunker silo um a covered bunker silo this will cost 25 grand um both of these were three slot seats so fairly low on the slot count um i <laughs> again sorry <laughs> you may straight away think oh no there's an easy solution to this my only worry with this and as we go in you'll see there you go fill level chaff sixty-five thousand litres. um is if i fill this up and that was filling up so look at the height of that if i come up to the level of the concrete if let's say it goes up a fraction more than that or it stays at exactly that level how do you get on top of this to compact it because the roof's there. You wouldn't get big machinery on top of that. Even a fairly small tractor with with a roller or something or a leveller, you might struggle to get on top of that. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just putting it out there. You know, if, if, if you know how you would go about that. But I, I, the first thing I thought was, oh, okay, how would I compact it? Again, I love the idea. I think it's brilliant. Nicely detailed. I like the concrete structure up and the wood panelled sections up above. All very nice indeed and the standard open shed also open shed front open shed um they're very nice um these you will find in two separate locations the shed version you will find here under placeables under sheds 10 grand and like i say three slots um the other one you will find under silos also three slots 25 grand to place um, and you can put your chaff or grass in that, compact it, cover it, and you will get your um, silage. Now, as far as does does the silage chaff, anything bleed through the walls? Are there any problems with covering it, uncovering it? I, I, I don't honestly know at this point. When I do the mod reviews, I've said this before, the time it would take to completely fill that, cover it, ferment it, check all of that, when I'm trying to get a mod review done, would take way 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 too long especially on console um it may well be on pc you can just automatically fill one and cover it i don't know but um so yeah you may come across issues i hope you don't come across any issues um but there you go that's the shed pack by missy b 
which I think brings me on to the last of the mods for today. I think. Um, this is the sheep pasture by Ideal 3D. Um, nice sheep pasture. We've got our buy, sell, load or unload trigger just inside the gate here for our sheep. Close the gate. Um, we have got just inside the door. Both doors either side are open and closable, as you can see. Um, the feed trigger is here, but it was a little bit finicky. I, I mean, the sweet spot I found was literally right there. Um, but that's where the hay goes in. Water trough is this side. There's a couple of little bits. I'm not sure why we got a double. Oh, is it because that one there has then overlapped with this one here? Yeah, this door opens and closes too. I think we do have light switches inside. Like so for the lights. Wall pallets spawn just there. I mean, that's that's all there is to it. Again, nicely detailed mod. Concrete around the bottom section. I think it's wood. Is it wood panel? It's like wood paneling sections around the outside. Uh, nice pasture for the sheep. Fenced in. Uh, now, this does say... Again, website mod hub says they this takes a hundred, and then when you come to the store to buy it, under placeables, animal pens, it says uh, eighty. Yeah, so sheep pasture. There you go, sixty-five grand. Um, this will use five slots to place, not too many, but it says eighty there. And like I say, I'm pretty sure when I checked on the website mod hub, it said a hundred. Yeah, you can raise up to a hundred sheep and produce wool. Mm. So. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I've got enough money. Let's open the gate, just to be certain. Oh, didn't need to jump that. Right, let's check, shall we? We have got... 80. 6 black and white. 74. Sheep white. So it does take 80, not 100. Um... And that's it. That's I think that's it for the mods. I think I've got everything. Um, yeah, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape, or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.